Why do I think the IBD register is an important initiative? Well, many reasons, but ultimately, I guess it comes down to patient care. We spend a lot of our time getting what we hope is good quality clinical information um, to try and help manage our patients. And um, the way we've always done this is that we write down that into a set of paper notes. And once you close those set of paper records, that information, no matter how good quality it is, is gone. So that if you're lucky enough to be there with the same patient, open up the notes and find the page, assume you can read your own writing, then you might be able to retrieve that information. But in the 20th century, 21st century, it's uh, a crime not to have that available, uh, not that, uh, to have that information available electronically. And uh, we think the registry is one way of doing that. So that if we get this right, it offers a solution, not just to managing patients with inflammatory bowel disease, there's nothing ultimately that particular about it, although obviously we care about our patients, but if we get it right, it offers a way of recording inf good quality clinical inc information storing that electronically and being able to retrieve it um, to optimize patient care. You get to know a lot of patients with inflammatory bowel disease and even those that you've known for a long time who you might see quite often you forget certain details about uh, their medical condition and you end up leafing through volumes of notes uh, that's assuming of course you've got the luxury of notes in front of you um, and it becomes um, quite a challenge to remember the uh, individual patient details, what operations they've had, what medications they've had, um, uh, and so on. And uh, the registry, we hope, by using some simple IT solutions, will simplify that job. For instance, wouldn't it be nice if we had a summary screen on a computer that included all of the relevant uh, central items in a patient's IBD history. When we try to think of um, factors which might persuade hard-pressed clinicians to invest some time to enter data onto the registry, um, we thought of how it might benefit um, uh, quality of care, it might give some benefits to patients, but one of the ways is in uh, demonstrating uh, that um, uh, the, stand the quality standards of care established um, uh, by the IBD Standards Committee and others uh, can be met. And um, we think this might be really useful to enable clinicians to benchmark the care that they provide to comparator trusts and to demonstrate um, that uh, quality is met uh, uh, in a variety of different areas in clinical care. So ideally, what I'd like the registry to be achieving in 10 years' time is that most clinicians who look after patients with inflammatory bowel disease will find a way, uh, find the time, to enter data um, as they see the patient real-time onto uh, a system, um, uh, so which can be uploaded um, into a registry, but which delivers um, uh, benefits to the clinician in terms of uh, uh, clinical information and uh, ease of managing the patient, which delivers patient, uh, benefits to the patient uh, in terms of improved quality of information, which develops, uh, which delivers benefit benefit to third, uh, for instance, third party commissioning groups, which might have useful information about benchmarking of clinical information, uh, and which perhaps, perhaps closest to my heart, uh, offers uh, the opportunity to deliver uh, the answers to research questions, and which kind of proves to people that the NHS is still uh, offers the potential of being the best uh, natural clinical laboratory in the world.